Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. March 20th, March 25th, April, May, Summer 2019, June, July, the end of July, August and September. These are all the times we've been told that the Boeing 737 MAX would be returning to service. However, at the time of writing and recording, which is Sunday the 25th of August, the Boeing 737 MAX is still yet to return to the skies with its MCAS fix, let alone return to service. We've constantly had our hopes let down after article after article has appeared stating a particular date, and that date has never eventuated. Frankly, we don't know the exact date, but what we are starting to learn, thanks to Boeing being more vocal about their aircraft, is that the type should be flying again by the end of the year. And you may ask why. Well, I must say right now that these things can change with an aircraft like the Boeing 737 MAX, and the whole situation, well, it's never set in stone, so definitely keep that in mind. But firstly, a Q4 re-entry into service is something Boeing has indeed been pushing for. However, their engineers have been swamped by the FAA in recent months, which has pushed back the re-entry into service considerably. You may ask why the FAA has indeed been swamping Boeing with inquiries. These said inquiries can be labelled as also safety concerns, which the FAA have asked Boeing to address in their new software fix. Well, with hundreds of these issues over the past five months, Boeing engineers and more widely Boeing employees have been moving through these steadily. According to Bloomberg, though, a certification flight could occur in October, although we've definitely seen this before, as I mentioned at the start of the video, with dates being wildly thrown. But Boeing are the ones really pushing their goal to get the MAX into service by Q4, whereas the FAA have been the ones who have consistently stated that they don't have a return to service date penciled in, and it will take as long as it needs to. We also know that the employees of the Federal Aviation Administration have already spent over 100,000 hours working on the fix with Boeing. The FAA were the ones who came under heavy scrutiny from the public following ET-302, as they were indeed one of the last regulators to pull the MAX out of service during that worldwide grounding that occurred just days and hours after ET-302. They at the time stood by their statement that the aircraft was safe until proven otherwise, and that as no course of the crash had actually been determined, they couldn't assume so early on that it had something to do with the systems. While Boeing, as mentioned, is eyeing that October certification flight, there is still lots that needs to be done. One could argue the biggest is actually submitting their fix and getting that approved by the FAA. Obviously, they need to ensure that the type is safe enough to proceed with a certification flight, and it is entirely possible that upon submission, new problems are found that Boeing need to go back and fix. An analogy I can give for those that might just be a little bit confused is homework. You submit your assignment that was part of a homework task to your teacher directly, and this is after a few months of working on it. However, it still has a few issues, and you are told to go back and improve on specific areas before you can resubmit it. It then takes a further three weeks for you to get back to your teacher and hand back that assignment. Just swap the student with Boeing and the teacher with the FAA, and there you have it. With that being said, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for tuning into another one of my videos. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.